Okay, so let's have a look at the next adjustment, adjustment number four for Kay Kelly 2006 sole trader question. So it's saying that patents which incorporate three months investment income are to be written over a five year period commenced in 2005. So <clears throat> first of all, we are doing the accounts for 2005, so that's okay. Um, so four things we're going to have to do here. One, we're going to have to find out what is the investment income for the year. Two, find out what is the investment income due because some of it has been paid but we record it into our patents. Three, we need to find out what is our patents figure to go into your balance sheet as a tangible fixed asset. And four, what's the patents to be written off per year. That's going to be your expense and your profit and loss account. So four things that we need to calculate. Calculate the investment figure or the investment income figure. So first of all, we're going to go and find out what our investments. So it says six months investments on the first of the six. So we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you got seven months. So it's not a full year. And it's going to be 160,000. So we're going to take 160,000. We're going to multiply that by 6%. And then we're multiplying that by 7 twelfths because we don't have it for a full year. So our yearly income that we're going to get from our investments is 5,600. That's going to go into our profit and loss. And it's going to go in to add operating income or operating profit. So of this 5,600, we've received some of that because in the question, it tells us that patents incorporate three months investment income. So of this 5,600, we have received three months. We're going to take the 5,600. We're going to multiply by three and we're going to divide it by seven. Why are we dividing by seven? Because you only have it for seven months. We don't have it for 12 months. So the investment income that we have received is 5,600. So that's going to give us 2,400. So we have received 2,400. So what's due then is the difference between the 5,600 and the 2,400. So it's going to be 3,200. That's what's due to us. And that's what's going to go into your balance sheet in your current assets. And there's 5,600. It's going to go into your profit and loss at your operating income. So that's the first two steps. Calculate the investment income figure and calculate the investment income due figure. Okay, next thing we have to do is take this figure, this 2,400 for investment income, we need to take it out of our patents and put it into our investment income. So we know the amount for our patents. We need to find out from the question. So the amount for patents is 60,600. And then we got the income. So our income is 2,400. Now we need to add this back on to our patents to take it out. And the reason for that is as follows. So our patents figure is going to be 63,000. We have to do an adjustment on that in a second, but for the moment, 63,000. So patents is an asset. So it goes on the debit side to increase it. Income is a credit. So we're going to put an income on the credit side. So in our patents, we've got 60,600. Our investment income, we need to put this 2,400. So we're going to credit our investment income 2,400 and we're going to debit our patents 2,400. And that's why we add it back up. So this um, adjustment is not about adding and subtracting, it's about your debits and credits. So I said we need to take the 2,400 out of the 60,600. If we did that by adding and subtracting, we take it away, but we don't take it away because of the double entry this 2,400 should be on the credit side of our investment income account. So we credit our investment income account and we debit our patents account. So our patents is going to be 63,000. The next one then is calculate the patents to be written off. So it says in the question that patents are to be written off over a five year period. So just double check that. So written off over a five year period. 
So we're going to take the 63,000 that we calculated in the previous working. We're going to divide it by 5 because it's commencing in this year. Just be careful with that. Sometimes I might say it commenced last year. If it commenced last year, you just um, divide it by 4. So 63,000 divided by 5. So 12,600 is how much we're going to write it off per year. So that's going to go into your balance sheet. Or sorry, your profit and loss account. As part of an administration section. And what we need to do now is we need to reduce our patents to find our new patent figure for the balance sheet. So we have to write off our patents by 12,600 each year. So the value of our patents at the end of this year is going to be 50,400. And that's what's going to go into your um, balance sheet as an intangible asset. So with your patents, when they incorporate with your income, four things we're going to do. Calculate the investment income figure. Calculate the investment income figure due. Calculate the patents written, or calculate the patents figure. And calculate the patents written off figure. So your investment income, find out how much it is in the question. Multiply by the rate. Multiply by how long you have it for. That figure then goes into your profit and loss at operating income. Then... It tells in the question that a percentage or a couple of months of this investment income is incorporated in your patents. So this question says we've got three months incorporated in our patents. So of this 5,600, three sevenths has been received already. So that's your 2,400. Take away from your 5,600. That gives your investment income due that goes into your balance sheet in your current assets. Then we need to take out this 2,400 out of our patents by adding it back on. Why do we add it back on? Remember, patents is an asset. Income is a credit. So we're going to credit your investment income account with the 2,400 that we should have received. And we're going to debit our patents account. And that's going to give you 63,000. That's written off over five years. So we're going to divide it by five. It gives you 12,600. So our patents at the end of this year it's going to be 50,400, so 63,000, take away 12,600. And that's your patents working done for K. Kelly 2006.